Welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm your boy Emmanuel. Uh, today we'll be uh, looking at um, Paper Two, 2020 Biology, which is GCE. And uh, in this section, we'll be looking at uh, question number two, which was on uh, dentition. Okay, so question two says, uh, Figure 2.0 below shows the internal structure of a tooth. Okay, so what we have here on our uh, on our screen is a diagram of a tooth and the first question says name the parts labeled D and E in figure 2.0 or above so um, my encouragement to you will be before you will even describe any or before you write down your answers it's best uh, you first uh, if it's possible you have time you identify all the parts on the diagram that has been given for example in our picture it would be best if you were to D to write down the answers or to describe or to identify all the parts that are here for example f we have f which is the inner male d which is the pop cavity and e which is the dentine so if you have those figured out it will be easy for you even to write down the answers because you will simply know that the parts labeled d and e it is the pop cavity and the dentine so if you have been given a diagram before you even answer or before you even label down the parts which have been asked in the question by the examiner, it would be best if you were just to write down all the answers. Okay, so there you go. On A, D, it is pop cavity and E, it is a, the dentine. Okay. Then question B says, explain what happens to the part labeled F during it tooth decay so the part labeled f like i stated in my first preamble it is the inner male so the inner male this is the whiter tooth or the whiter layer that we usually see when uh, we've been given a base smile okay especially when they're starting out the day that uh, white layer it is what we refer to as in the inner male so what happens to this structure when uh, you are having a tooth decay which comes as a result of eating things that are too sweet or chocolates and stuff is that those things contain acid and once they are left on the inner male for a long period of time it begins to dissolve that layer it begins to dissolve it which will result into your tooth having some walls which are known as the cavities so sweet food when they are left on the tooth for a long time they have acid which dissolves or which damages this top layer which is the inner male and you are going to have some walls which are purple which are known as what cavities okay so that's what happens during the tooth decay the inner male dissolves from the acid from the acid which are in the food which will result into the tooth having some cavities okay b2 says look at the shape of the tooth in figure 2.0 above suggest the role it plays in the digestion of food Okay, so the key picture there, I see, it is what? Digestion of food. So our tooth, when uh, <coughs> our tooth during digestion of food, they either cut or grind the food. They will either cut or grind the food. So looking at this structure, we are basically, uh, it's obvious that this tooth, it is used to grind the food. And then canines, uh, the ones which helps us to cut the food so these ones they are used to grind the food c says complete the human dental formula below by filling in the missing numbers g h and j okay so when uh, we are finding the dental formula for any organism first thing that we have to know the number which is represented by g it is actually a two okay so we usually have a two outside the brackets this two is going to multiply everything that is inside okay and uh, this would be appropriate for you i would also encourage you to just know it from the top of your head eh, what a human dental formula is so a human dental formula has incisors which are two canines which are one that is on the upper jaw and then premolars there are two molars there are three so what is on the top it is what is on the down so if we have two if we have two 
incisors on top, we have also two incisors down. If we have one canines on top, we have also one canine down. Premolars two, premolars two, those then down. Molars three, molars three down. So basically, we know that H and H is one, J it is what? Three. Okay? Yes, so we're going to say our G will be two. Our H will be 1, and then our J, it will be 3. Because what is on top, it is what is it? Down. Well, hope you enjoyed that section. I'm a boy once again, Emmanuel. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you. Thank you for all those who have been subscribing and uh, leaving out your comments. And also, if you have any specific topic that you would want us to look at or anything where you're finding challenges, you may drop it down in the comments. We'll be right at uh, your service. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.